hello welcome back to my channel beautiful people of the internet world <laughs> okay so today i'm gonna do my current key word in there is current mm, excuse me everyday makeup uh application um i'm gonna start with some tart base tape hydrating primer i'm gonna be using a pretty matte foundation today so i want to make sure i am nice and hydrated now the tart base tape does have coconut in it so if that scent bothers you You've been warned. I don't know what else it has on it. I'm pretty sure it has. Let's see. It doesn't even say. Um, it is a hydrating primer. It's the Tarte Double Duty Base Tape. I'm 99% sure it has coconut water in it. Y'all, my hair is a hot mess. Okay. I have no idea where my little kitty ears went. Let me find them because I need them. And we're back kitty ears and all okay so I've gone in I have primed I need my concealer my cream contour my foundation my darkening drops so when I bought this particular foundation <laughs> funny story when I bought this particular foundation it was uh winter and I don't know about y'all, but I'm super pasty in the winter. Also, I have been out in the sun a lot this summer. So my face is substantially darker than it normally is. It doesn't look like it on camera. But someone asked me yesterday, they were like, uh, you got like a Puerto Rican glow going on. I was like, oh. So, all right. So what I did was I just mixed up some of my foundation onto a little plastic thingy with some darkening drops. All right, I need my brush. Where are you? You're not my brush. You're not my brush. There you are. Okay. So I will either use a brush or a sponge. It just kind of depends on how I'm feeling that day. But first things first. So I saw this on Tati's channel when Scott Barnes did her makeup. And y'all, I am obsessed. Because now I find myself doing it so flipping much. But... I do put my own little twist on it. I will go in and I'll show you. But, all right, so first things first, we are gonna blend this concealer in. Mm As you can see, when I go in to blend my under eye concealer, I go in with a pretty light touch. Okay, that's blended. Now, we are gonna take the, oh dear, Laura Mercier Cream Contour Kit. I mix medium and dark together, especially since I am about to go in with a super thick, foundation I know we look ridiculous guys makeup always gets worse before it gets better
Hello. Okay. Now, I'm not going to buff this out. What I'm going to do, I'm going to dip into my foundation. Kind of dot it everywhere. And then blend it. Boom. Okay. Now, because I do feel like my face still looks a little bit flat, I am going to go through and highlight just a little bit more. And yes, my face does look kind of oily. That is okay. Because... I have a hydrating primer on. Okay. So here's the trick. Here we buff. But we buff lightly. Here we buff. But we buff lightly. Here, we stipple. Here, we buff, but we buff lightly. Here, we buff, but we buff lightly. We wanna leave, when we buff lightly, we want to leave the contour essentially where it is. You can even stipple. Under the eye, I always stipple. You want to almost treat it like a beauty sponge, but because it's a brush, be extra gentle. So we're going to take a nice fluffy brush. This is a Luxie 522. This is actually a tapered highlighter. I like this brush for this because it is a very, very fluffy and I can control how much product I really put on there. So we are just going to tap some setting powder under our eye. I personally am using the Milk Makeup Setting Powder. It's their blurring powder. And you can see I'm very lightly tapping. I actually want a mirror up close. And I am gonna go through and set the rest of my face. I'm just currently setting the spots that crease first, which happen to be my forehead because I make a lot of foolish faces. My under eyes because, well, it's, it's my under eyes. And because today I'm talking while I put on makeup, my smile wins. All right, now. I'm going to go in with a substantially larger fluffy brush. I'm going to dip into it, make sure I tap off the excess, and I'm going to lightly just press this on my face. I'm not going to swirl because while you may not realize it, when you swirl, you are still kind of moving product around, and that's not what we want. We want to just set the face so in stippling motions i'm going through and just lightly pressing this in and then i'm going to go through and lightly feel my face to see what still feels kind of damp from the foundation And you can also see where you've missed in all seriousness, especially when you go in with a hydrating primer, you can just look and see. Now 
now lately I have been using a like homemade BB cream instead of a actual foundation but last night at work it was extra hot and uh-huh I noticed my makeup did not I mean it didn't really move but it didn't stay the way I hoped it had which is partially my fault I did a whole bunch of sweating yesterday so all right now that we have a set our face this is where this is why I think it's gonna get interesting guys I'm gonna go back in with that same Luxie brush that we just used and I'm going to bake my under eye very lightly though you'll see And this is part of the reason I prefer to use a brush when I'm doing these particular kind of applications because I really feel like I can control the amount of powder I put on. So, sorry, there's little fuzzies on my face and it's making my face itch and I don't want to scratch my face because I have makeup on. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with that same giant fluffy brush we just used and gently, ever so gently, brush our bake off. Literally, because I have so much actual makeup on my face. I do it very, very gently because I don't want a cakey under eye. But at the same time, to avoid a cakey under eye, I do make sure um, that I set my face very, very well. But before I put on any makeup, I moisturize the ever-loving daylight out of my face. Like I put a moisturizer on and then I put an eye moisturizer on. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera real quick and I will be right back. Okay, and we're back. Um, I don't know what's going on with my brows lately, guys. Me and these things are not getting along. I'm thinking of going and getting them tinted again. I just I don't have patience for this like I am a perfectionist and I will work on my brows for hours okay but I'm moving on so today what I do before I finish off my actual face I go in and I do my physical makeup so today because I know for a fact I'm going to be hot, I'm going to be cranky, and I'm not going to want to deal with life. I'm doing a very, 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 very simple, simple look. I'm going to take a nice tapered blending brush. I'm going to take my ABH bronzer in the shade Saddle, and I'm going to pop it straight into my crease. It's summer. Um, I kind of been rotating between the Huda Nude and this particular look because there are days when I don't feel like doing a whole three hour makeup application look. Like for 4th of July, everyone was so shocked that I didn't come to work with like red, white, and blue makeup. And I just looked at them and I was like, y'all, I don't have time for that. Also, that is so impractical. Like, I love those looks. And if I didn't have to be at work 
and I didn't have a million things to do before work, I would. Like, I would take the time to sit there and do this. But I got so much I have to get done in life in general before work. Okay, so I went in with that. Now I'm going to take my, oh dear, my Sweet Peach palette. And I'm going to go into Summer Yum. So if you saw this video of me going in with the Too Faced line, the peach line, you know, I used this palette and I was like, uh -huh. can someone explain to me why I like this palette? And then I did my bronze look and I was like, oh yeah. I mean, I have a million palettes, don't get me wrong, and a lot of them have very similar shades, but there's something about this particular palette when I'm doing like a bronze smoky eye look that I'm just like, yes, because I can do my bronzer with this particular shade, Summer Yum, and like I'm pretty much done. All right, so I'm gonna take a pencil brush. I'm gonna go into my bronzer and I'm gonna do my lower lash line. Now, when I do a look like this, I really like to blow out that lower lash line with the first transition shade. I don't know what it is about it. There's just, it's just, it always looks so good. And I'm sorry if y'all hear my cat in the background. Um, I don't know if I've ever introduced Zoe. Zoe is like four pounds. She's, I want to say three years old. And she's too small to get fixed. Like I can fix her, but it's very dangerous because of her size. It's very dangerous because of her size and it's gonna be like a physical human surgery. Like they put her on a heart monitor and IV drip and everything. Okay, so now using that same pencil brush, I'm gonna go into Summer Yum and pop that on my lower lash line as well. I'm just not blowing out Summer Yum quite as much. Okay. Now, I'm going to take a nice flat brush here. And because I don't want really too much color, per se, I'm going to go into Bellini, the shade right there. I'm going to go in Bellini. I'm going to spritz both sides of the brushes here. I'm going to tap that all over my lid. Dip back into it and just tap it. I feel like Bellini is that perfect shade for a bronze smoky eye. It's just so pretty. It's a combination of brown gold with a little bit of peach to it. It's just, it's gorgeous. All right, now I'm going to very lightly dip into Peach Pit here. And I'm going to just pop that on the outer corner. just to kind of add some definition. Okay, that's it. Like I'm not, I'm not going ham with this color here, guys. And that's it, I'm done with that. Now, I'm gonna bronze up my face. Then I'm going to pop on some blush. Then I'm going to set my face. 
I'm gonna go in with our Anastasia bronzer. And you can see I'm very lightly dusting this on. I am going to deepen my neck contour. Okay, just gonna kind of look, make sure it's not patchy. Alright, now I need it. There it is. Okay, I was like, where is my blush brush? Where's the blush I want? Okay, I'm gonna take a blush brush and I'm gonna go into the Peach Glow, I want to say. Sweet Peach Glow. And I'm going to go into the blush and just tap that. Now this is the kind of blush I will go ham in with my brush. Because it is a very subtle peach blush. It is like, it's the perfect blush to me. Spring, summer, fall, winter. I don't care. I use this every day. Okay, maybe not every day. That's a little bit of an exaggeration. All right, so I'm going to spritz my face. Now, while that is still kind of damp, and I've been living for this, guys, I go in with my Beauty Bent Blender or Beauty Sponge or whatever. Today, I'm using a Morphe. And while my face is still kind of damp, I'm going to take that highlight and just lightly press it where I want it. Just, it just looks so pretty. Living my best life. Mm, living my best life. Okay, spritz my face again. While my face is still drying um, at this point, it is like 85% dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some Tarte Light. All right. Now, I will apply some lipstick. I am 99% sure I'm gonna go in with Jeffree Star's um, Celebrity Skin, but my face is not fully dry. And not to mention, I have yet to brush my teeth. Uh, I always brush my teeth and put my Invisalign in before I apply lipstick. So I'm going to go ahead and call it a day because I'm not ready to brush my teeth yet. I still have a full cup of coffee and I got to go get dressed for work. So I just wanted to go ahead and do this video on my current, mainly foundation routine. But also my current, like, bronzy eye look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned because, let's see, this video is going to go up on Wednesday. The 10th. And at that point, my 12 days. So we have a whole week leading up to my birthday that I'm going to do a whole bunch of fun looks. Um... I'm going to do, the video itself will not be posted on my birthday, but I will do a whole video on like day to night makeup for my birthday. I'm super excited. Like I'm super excited. I'm also going to do an unboxing on my birthday of my birthday presents because I know, I know what I'm getting at this point. Like I know because no one else has asked me what I wanted. Also, everyone in my life knows I want makeup or skincare. But um, everyone in my life knows I am obsessed with anything and everything Jeffree Star. So I'm kind of hoping I get 
this particular hoodie I have been hinting at for like two months now. But I'm super, super, super excited. I, y'all, I just love Jeffree Star. I do. And I love Tati, but like, I love how honest Jeffree Star is in his reviews. And so is Tati. But he's just kind of like, you know what? You like me. You don't like me. I don't care. I'm going to give you the honest opinion about this makeup. And yeah, I'm like a little fangirl. I wish you would come to New Orleans. Little fangirl. Jeffree Star, if you watch this, know I love you. Yeah. Um, but literally for my birthday, that is all I asked for. Jeffree Star this, Jeffree Star that, Jeffree Star this, Jeffree Star concealer, Jeffree Star setting powder, Jeffree Star makeup, the Jawbreaker collection. I want mirrors. I want track suits. I want, yeah, like literally all I asked for was Jeffree Star. So. I'm hoping I get what I asked for. I'm hoping. Um, and if Jeffree Star ever does PR, hi. <laughs> I fangirl after you. And I don't fangirl after anybody. That's not true. I'm pretty sure if I saw Tati in real life too, I'd fangirl. And Shane Dawson. Like, I liked Tati and Jeffree Star before I even knew they were friends. Like, Jeffree, I've always kind of loved Jeffree Star. Ooh, sorry about that. So, I fangirl after you if you watch this. I'm going to go because I look like a crazy person right now. All right, I'm going to go get ready for work and brush my teeth and then throw on some Jeffree Star mannequin because that is my jam. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I love y'all. And I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell. Bye, guys.